the front elevation is rock star. I mean, it's it's beyond what I ever could have imagined. Today is the big day, guys. I couldn't be more excited. That's right, we are gonna get the new drawings or the iterations of those drawings from our architects. Uh, and thankfully, I'm not the one drawing this. And obviously, we actually hired a professional architect team that not only can do some really cool drawings, conceptual drawings, which is basically what we're gonna see today, but also structural, because everything has to fit. Let's face it, we're putting a lot of water upstairs. We don't want that water to come downstairs. You know what I mean? But in actuality, this is kind of what I told them I had an idea. Listen, I'm praying they're gonna do a lot better job than I did, and I'm assuming they really are. The thing that's great about architects is that they really sometimes surprise you by bringing something to the table you hadn't even thought of. And trust me, we really do need this expansion. Obviously, there are so many reasons to expand, but none bigger than the fact that some of our animals are just getting really large for their enclosures. Salt and pepper literally are gonna be outgrowing their enclosure within the next probably six to eight months. So we have to do something, right? And we have no room for them, so the expansion is definitely going to be needed. Now, where exactly salt and pepper's enclosure is going to be? I'm not sure about that. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Now, listen, this is actually step three today of about a hundred. But hey, we were on step one a few weeks back, so we're definitely making progress. And I've taken you guys on the journey of everything. The first steps of 1.0 all the way to the finish. First steps of 2.0 all the way to the finish. I'm taking you guys on every step of 3.0 and essentially 4.0 of the aquarium. So today is pretty darn exciting, but let's not get too excited because we are still in the very early stages. You know, I always say, I don't want the largest zoo in the world. I don't want the best zoo in the world. Basically, I just want a place that's really cool where you can go and do experiences that you can't do anywhere else, you know, or at least not very close, you know? So it's always about like, what can we add to make this place more awesome, more experiences. So when people come, they're like, holy cow, I can't believe I got to hold Al, the reticulated python, or, you know, experiences with salt and pepper or whatever the case is. And that's what the expansion is really about adding more of those experiences. So we already have so many cool things at the Reptarium and we absolutely love what we're doing. We're just trying to add on that and then also bring in kind of a new audience when it comes to the aquarium side. Something I've always been interested in. Back when I was a kid, I had like 15 aquariums. So I've always loved fish. I'm not an expert by a long shot and I have a lot to learn. But again, I want to make experiences that are going to be absolutely wonderful. And that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to be the biggest or largest zoo on the planet. We just have to do what we do and really do it well. And honestly, the thing that I love about this vlog more than anything else, of course, my girl Matilda, what are you doing, silly monkey, is inspiring people. You know, if you would have asked me four years ago, five years ago, if I was ever gonna open up a reptile zoo to begin with, I don't know that I could have ever said I was gonna do it, even though it was a dream of mine for the last 25 years. And here we are, we opened up the first site, then we expanded, and now we're about to do another huge, huge expansion. And that's the thing. To me, I just want to inspire you guys to follow your dreams. Sometimes those dreams seem impossible. You know what I mean? It doesn't seem like it's even a possibility to do what we've already done, let alone doing this next step. But the fact is, is anything is possible. If you really believe in yourself, you work hard, and you don't take no for an answer. Do you know how many people told me I should not open the Reptarium? People told me that it was a waste of money, that I would never be able to float, that I would be out of business within the end of the year and the fact is it's been super successful and I want you guys to take that same type of attitude towards everything you do. Don't listen to the naysayers. Do things that you want to do. Follow your dreams and trust me one day you'll be hanging out with a beautiful tortoise like Matilda just like me. I want to share a few animals that I have coming up hopefully for next year's breeding season with you guys that I'm kind of excited about. Uh, one of them, these guys, you probably haven't seen them in a while. They are albino applegate gopher snakes. I really I really love these. They're super pretty. Uh, we worked with these years ago. It's nice to have them again. So I'm really, fingers crossed, they'll be up to size and we can try to breed and produce some of these next year. Next one that's coming along so good are these tricolor hognose. So these will definitely be up to size. We've got a few females and a male. These will be a lot of fun to breed and we'll definitely have babies or eggs I should say next year of these guys then of course there's my buddy RJ here come on bud there you go this guy is going to be on display and it's going to be absolutely incredible I mean he's such a cool animal that I love being able to feed him and interact with him he's coming right up he's saying what are you doing RJ you eat that food what are you doing you coming to bring your food back to dad come on come on there you go now look at you 
<laughs> what a silly monkey. So the fact is, is I'm trying to decide. You know, RJ, I think for sure, will probably be, whoa, he missed it. Come on, bud. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. there you go, bud. There you go, thank you, buddy. So I know we're gonna definitely probably put RJ upstairs, I think. I was originally thinking maybe salt and pepper would stay on the reptarium level and then RJ would be upstairs, or should I do it reverse? Do I think that RJ should be downstairs? Would you guys rather see RJ downstairs and salt and pepper upstairs or vice versa? Let me know in the comments. Both of them are gonna have gigantic enclosures, like literally 20 foot long enclosures. And we're gonna have opportunities for people to get up and close and feed. Come on, RJ, one last piece. Come on, buddy. That's a boy. Oh, there you go, buddy. It's a nice big piece for him. So let me know in the comments what you think. Should we build the enclosure for RJ on the main level or the upstairs or vice versa with salt and pepper? Because I think I want one downstairs and one upstairs. Just not sure which one yet. And keep in mind that we're probably gonna get some other baby albino alligators for the main floor of the Reptarium. So basically where salt and pepper are now, we're hoping we have maybe a couple smaller albino alligators and then salt and pepper will be on the other side, either on the main floor or upstairs. I'm not sure. I'm still kind of a little confused on it. So let me know what you guys think. I met with the architects about a month ago and I basically showed him the front of the facade I was thinking so right above the reptarium sign up here I would like that to be the entire roof now from that side all the way to the other side will be completely glass right and then there'll be a peak that will be glass as well so from the front of the road you're literally gonna see the facade in the front will be kind of all the rocking out cave looking stuff we'll do some more work to that because the actual entrance is gonna be way down there at the end instead of here so that'll be the entrance you walk into the place so that's gonna be rocked out and then up top is gonna be all glass glass to look into. I want the building from the outside to really be compelling so people go, oh my god, that place looks absolutely incredible. I have to go to it. So again, don't know what the architects are going to come up with with the kind of design I told them, but I am super excited to see what they do. As we're doing this expansion and doing the aquarium, I don't want you guys to worry like, oh, you're getting away from reptiles. Number one, we're actually adding another third amount of space to the reptarium itself to actually add more reptiles, you know, more snakes, more lizards, more stuff. And Jeffrey is just so absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that snake. That thing is ridiculous, right? And also, upstairs in the aquarium, like I had mentioned, we're going to have an alligator. We're going to have some turtles. We're going to have maybe baby alligators up there. Uh, we're going to have reptiles up there, too. So it's not going to be just an aquarium. It's going to be mainly aquarium. But, you know, listen, I'm a reptile guy, so there's going to be reptiles. And we want that molding between the reptarium and the aquarium and stuff like that to where you kind of get the same feel, like it's the same thing. We don't want two separate businesses, right? We don't want the reptarium and the aquarium being completely different. As a matter of fact, a lot of the facade that we're using here, we'll probably use at the aquarium too so it feels like the same place just another level right so uh, again millions of ideas going through my head and I am so excited and today I'll actually get a chance to see that vision start to actually get on paper for the very first time something different we're gonna do a little enrichment with the Kong ball with super worm inside but with Betty White she's never seen a ball before because obviously we don't have to ball train these guys so we're gonna see how this goes she is always food motivated now I am gonna show her that there is some bugs in here. But we're gonna see what happens. Oh, and as you can see, she goes right for the bug. So now that she knows, look at her. Now she's going inside the ball. This is so cool to actually see her figure this out. As you can see, she's looking in the middle part now because she can see them inside, but she doesn't realize how to get to them. You see the hole? Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Yeah. How awesome, guys. Yeah. Woo. Can't wait for her to be full, full size like Flamin' Hot Cheeto. Just that white, and hopefully with a name like Betty White, she lives for a long time, because Betty White is the number one person. Look at her. She's just head in, scratching at it now. Times I really wish I was that smart to get that much food. Drogo, what in the world are you doing up there? What a silly little dude. Look at him. Hi, baby. How you doing, sweetheart? You doing okay today? I know, he's so absolutely amazing. And the fact is, is that Drogo the Two-Toed Sloth has been such a huge hit here at the Reptar. People come every single weekend to do experiences with him, to see him for the first time, and people love him to death. And one of the things we're gonna do, and we're gonna probably have it downstairs, I'm pretty sure, is add Asian small clawed otters. That's right, we'll probably add a pair of them into the Reptarium, and they'll probably be in the Reptarium. I realize the sloth and the otters aren't reptiles, but I think that they'll be cool additions to the Reptarium. So we're looking forward to adding our second mammal to the 
the zoo. And I think that'll be the last mammals we add. Uh, but don't hold me to it. You never know what's gonna happen in the future. But for now, that's gonna be it. And small cloud otters, yeah, that's gonna be amazing. And just like all of my visions, I know it's hard to sometimes see what I'm thinking in my head. But believe it or not, you know, the BHB offices and kind of our overflow and all that stuff, this is all gonna be gone, right? The offices won't even be here anymore. The actual, there's gonna be some area upstairs where all of the offices for BHB, the Reptarium, the Aquarium, everything is gonna be up there. So this area is gonna be part of the new Reptarium. The actual entrance is gonna be right here where this office is here. I know it's weird. And the staircase is actually gonna be on this side here. But right here, right here where this wall is and these lockers are, basically is gonna be a similar type of enclosure like Ivy, a giant enclosure with big water feature, big waterfall, stuff like that. But it's gonna be for a water monitor. Not sure if it's gonna be Elvis yet, Toothless yet, or we might get another water monitor, not sure. But again, this will be the entrance right here when you walk in and you'll see again the staircase, the elevator to go up to the aquarium. And then right here, you're gonna be able to see this giant, huge enclosure that is really similar to Ivy's. But again, then the rest of it's gonna be all a bunch of reptiles and stuff like that. And it's gonna go all the way back to the thing. It's gonna be again, adding one third the space of the Reptarium once again. So 3.0 is gonna be here. 4.0 upstairs. And speaking of upstairs, you know, when it comes to aquatic things, you know, most of the stuff you can't actually hold, right? Certainly if we add some turtles up there, the baby gators, stuff like that, there's gonna be able to be interaction, but a lot of aquatic stuff you just look at, right? But we're gonna try our best to add as many things that you can't interact with, right? Like, you know, touch tanks and stuff like that. Obviously the big thing is gonna be that stingray enclosure. I mean, to be honest with you, that's what I've been dreaming about for years. It's just like having the fish pot or the sloth. I mean, things I've been dreaming about forever, I've been dreaming about a stingray exhibit. Remember when we went to Utah and swam with stingrays? Like I mentioned, we also did the fish bot, and that's right, now we've got a fish bot here at the Reptarium. Well, stingrays have definitely been on my mind forever. So having that type of enclosure upstairs is gonna be amazing where you can pet them, you could feed them, and there'll even be an opportunity if you want to get inside the water with them. I know I've talked about it before, but now I'm just excited because today is the day that we start to see things going. Again, step three of 100, but nevertheless, step three is exciting. We get to actually see drawings, and maybe there might be some inspiration I take from them, because you gotta remember, a lot of times when I I give a bunch of information out, those people are gonna take them and then put their stamp on, and they may actually inspire me to do something that I hadn't even thought about doing. So uh, it's gonna be absolutely amazing, and I couldn't be more excited about it today, and uh, and I hope that you guys are as excited as I am. All right, so the time we've all been waiting for, we're gonna head over to the architect's place and see these drawings. So uh, sorry I kept you in suspense the whole time. Let's hit the road and go see what they've got. Well, this is a pretty cool feature, so we made it here to the architect's place, and right off the bat, I love it. Maybe we'll add something like that into the aquarium. So. Uh, Let's go up and meet these guys. Uh, I am so excited. I'm nervous, but I'm definitely pretty darn excited. We worked exhibits um, as you see fit. I know you have kind of the, the open area, retail area, kind of right. in this corner. You know, I, I was wondering some if some help on um, part of the site break how the site is going to work. work. Um, yeah. Coming up here, right same up. kind of thing. There's, There's always this kind of uh, yep. entry point. Um, you know, this mm -hmm. is a different uh, floor. Again, this is open. Um, Again, maybe this, this facade can have this great. I just see it on the exterior images. Uh, a lot of windows you know, kind of signifying this entry. Um, a little bit of room over here. Yeah. This becomes uh, yeah. you know, some more merchandising area. Uh, right. Retail and uh, 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 entry uh, hall. Really so it's been pretty amazing. You guys have done a great job, by the way. Thank you so much. I mean, the, the front elevation is rock star. I mean, it's it's beyond what I ever could have imagined. I love the flow of the idea of that. You know, I'm, I'm you know, my friend that helped me design a lot of the Reptarium always said he hates straight lines. Straight lines, so you are anti-straight line in here for sure. That's fantastic. It makes it more interesting, so on like that. Uh, the thing is now, it's like, I've got a million questions in my head about this about functionality, making sure it can work, um, before I even get into the cost part of it. Uh, but but it is pretty amazing, and definitely you guys threw me for a loop on a lot of things that I wasn't thinking, <laughs> but all in good ways, No, nothing bad. So I, I really like it, like I didn't think about the rear entrance. I think that looks not only is it functionally great, but it looks amazing. Um, so yeah, so this was, uh, this was 
I think we're on step three and a half today. So, uh, so, so you guys did great. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Now, uh, now my brain is going to hurt for the next couple days, but this is amazing. I can't wait to show Lori. All right, so I have the plans in my hand. They're going to be emailing me over the actual uh, the, the elevations and everything to show Lori here. So we'll go back to the shop, show Lori all that stuff, and get her first impressions. Uh, it's uh, like I said, guys. Now it's all the thinking that goes into this. You know, I mean, they came up with some great ideas. Now I have to see what ideas work, what ideas don't. Where do we? Put things I mean certainly uh, brought probably as many questions up as it did answers but definitely I love the direction we're going so wow let me know in the comments what you guys think because that was a uh Wow, that was crazy. All right, so uh, you guys ready to What's see the expansion? The expansion? Yeah, the expansion. I've got yeah. the drawings for you. Ready? I'm ready. This is the side view of what the roof would look like, okay? So okay. there's a little bit of a... a it looks like a church. <laughs> yeah, kind of a little yeah. bit like that. Yeah, but uh, but in. that's just the one thing. Yeah, I was going to show This is the actual, like, reptaria, or the, the aquarium. Stingray tank. The, I like that. The floor plan, kind of. This would be where you would come up and stuff like that. But the otter slide? Put no, right there. No oh my slide. god. I don't know about the other These, were, these were not all approved. But so then yeah, that looks awesome by the way. So this this is where it gets exciting though. This is the back of the building. Ooh. The back. This that is the back pretty. of the building. That looks really So this pretty. is where the staircase would go. So there would be all windows. Yeah. Who's cleaning all these windows? We're gonna have to hire a window company, but it does if you <laughs> if you think those windows are bad, just wait till this next thing. This is the one that I can't wait to show you. How much is the window? You guys ready? Cost? It's a lot. We're I'm not, sure everything's yeah. gonna be. Yeah, not you guys ready? This right. is the big one. This is the grand finale. Everything else has been real sexy. This is the good one. Ready? Yeah. There you go. Oh! What do you think? I think if that can happen, it will be the most impressive building in a few square miles. What is this? This is just the roof. If that comes to fruition, that will be very beautiful. I know you said the same thing to me. It's definitely different than what I was picturing. So yeah. I'm what trying to picture process that i mean it definitely is a very eye-catching beautiful building, building. The car wash down the I know street. it's you got it's waves it's got it's curvature got, what more what? do you want it's I'm blue and wavy and curvy <laughs> like i mentioned guys this is the starting point right so we do have a lot of work to do uh definitely had some good ideas but we still still have to do some tweaking in order to get it to where we want it to be but i'm pretty excited about it. let me know in the comments what you're excited about what you liked what you didn't like what we can do better and stuff like that because this is going to have to be amazing right and if you enjoyed this video you can hit this playlist right over here also on this side you can subscribe to this channel that would mean a lot to me have an absolutely wonderful day reptile army remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you tomorrow